Hi guys, this video is brought to you by Outtalk.co.uk for your post, pre-match and Sheffield Wednesday discussions with fellow Wednesdayites. Hi guys and welcome to the Brentford Sheffield Wednesday review. Now, Brentford have been doing really well of late and we've got to keep up with that and know that they're at home and they've been playing some good attacking football. But that win in the cup hopefully will inspire us to go on and get our first win in the league. Now, the team news today is Dawson, Pelopusi, Bannon, Thornley, Lees, New Hugh, Reach, Hutchinson, Baker, Poodle, Forstieri. Subs are Wildman, Palmer, Penny, Kirby, Jay Lee, Matthias, Fletcher. Good to see New Hugh back. Zhao has still got a little bit of a knock on his groin. And it was a one, it was a game where we'd love to see him back, but he's struggling. If he's struggling, there's no point in us in risking it. Let's just see what happens. And we've still got players in there. Fletcher can come off the bench. Feds can do his magic. He's only just passed the medical before the game. So we're going to have to see what happens there. We don't want to overdo it with him. But hopefully we can go and get all three points today. It would be lovely to get that and then move on to Wednesday game against Millwall. So let's see what happens and hopefully get all three points. Well, that first half wasn't the best. Uh, we gave away a very silly penalty. Hutch should know better. We look a little bit better at the back, playing this four at the back, but we still had this issue where we are doing things silly, in a sense. We are looking very nervous, not clearing the ball well. There was an interesting thing that got mentioned on the radio about Fez could be going after this. I don't believe it that much. I think it's one of those things that it's a journalist putting two and two together and getting four. If it is true, then where the hell is he going? But I had the whole situation where we would not look good. Baker looked fantastic. Bannon's been great. New Hugh, one of the worst games I've seen in a while. He's just not had any service or he hasn't gone to the ball to get the service. It's been a poor one by Atty. Atty could do with doing a lot better or coming off at some point in the second half and having Fletcher. It's just not stuck for him. But the area seemed to be hit and miss at times. Back four have been okay, but we keep making silly mistakes. The bit where we're getting done a lot is when they're going on the wing. When they're going on the wing, they are coming at us at speed, and Baker and Thornley are doing a really good job, but they are showing their age in terms of how young they are and how much experience they don't have against the kind of players week in, week out. So... It's good that the youth are playing. It's 1-0 to Brentford. Can we go into this in the second half trying to get uh, three points? We seem to be a team that is so much better when we come from behind than defending the lead. It's weird. And I don't like us doing it. We need to make some of these balls stick a lot more, come at them a lot more in this half, and let's see if we can get all three points. Because if we don't get all three points, it's going to be... Everyone jumping on the manager, everyone jumping on the fans, and we need to start getting behind the club. I said fans, I meant players jumping on, but and we need to just get behind the club and see what happens in the second half. Hopefully, we can turn it over and make it uh, a 2 1 win, but at the minute it's 1 0 Brentford. So, second half wasn't much better. We got at them a little more and tried to go forward, but we left gaps at the back, and that's how they got their second goal. Big open gap at the back, they really went for it, and not a lot we can do about it. Uh, we looked a little bit poor today, like, we just weren't up for this game at all. Um, it just felt very, very strange and very odd to have a game where we didn't even look like making many chances. We had one shot on target the entire game. One shot, that's it. And it very poor by us. Again, it's another defeat in London. We are seem to be really bad when we go down to London. We play pretty poorly. But there's not a lot we can do about it. It's another loss. Everyone's always starting to say Josh Lukai isn't the man to be in charge. He's say, saying we need to find a new manager, all the kind of stuff. And you're all in part, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but my thing is who do you get in when you realise you have no money? A lot of the young lads did a lot of good thing today. Baker, Penny, uh, Thornley looked okay at times, but Preston looked good as well. But it's that whole thing. If we're going to have to use youth this year, we're going to have to give on time 
up it, get set into the squad, get part of it. And it's just going to be a difficult, difficult season at the moment. Granted, we'd only play three games. So before everyone jumps off the thing, it's three games. We may have to do what we've done a couple of seasons and start off bad and get back into the season. We, I think we were hoping to hit the ground running this season and it's just not happened. Losing reach at the start of the game was a b bad. Everyone's going to bring up the whole Dawson, Wildsmith, Westwood thing now. They're all going to say this, but let's just get behind the squad. We've got another game against Millwall midweek. I will do a preview during the week, but we need to get behind the squad. Whatever happens, even if we lose, we need to be behind them. Because at the end of the day, it's got to be that. But it's a 2-0 loss. I think we're fourth above the drop zone, but that doesn't matter right now because it's just three games in. We need to play better though. That was a very poor performance by us. Don't forget to have your say at altalk.co.uk after the match.